everyone and welcome to a smash look at Cliff Empire. Franz here as always and this is brought to you by Lion Shade. It's all about building your city on cliffs that have been left by some previous civilizations because the world is no longer livable. It's currently in early access, I was given a key, so we're going to be jumping into this first impression so you guys can see just what it's like. In the settings menu, we have some nice qu quality controls here, which is always great to see. I have turned off the depth field because it kind of hurts my eyes. Some people prefer it, some people don't. So I've got two matches that have been going on here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a brand new game for you guys so you can see just from the get-go what you're getting from Cliff Empire. So after a nuclear war in the past decade... The surface of the Earth was covered with a layer, layer of radioactive mist. Looks like we've got a couple of little cliffs up here. I think we've got three, maybe, in this. Several thousand people found shelter in orbital stations. Those who stayed had to be built, or had time to build, artificial cliffs on the surface to give a chance for future generations to return home. So you can see here, there was actually quite a lot here. So we've got a, a nice big pond that is filled with lots of fish in there. And I believe we could, we've got a cliff over here as well. And have we got another one anywhere? Is there another one anywhere? Uh, might not be. So what we're going to do is I think, I mean, this one has a lot of fish on it. Because you can see here, fish 110%, windiness, sunshine, groundwater. So, and we've got a range of icons down here. But first of all, we need to put down our storage. So I think the way this is, this might be a good place to pop our storage down. So I'm going to place the storage here. So you've got a range of things. Basically all these tiles will be able to access into different types of buildings. Some of them, you know, are larger cells of other things. Some of them need to be on a particular one, like the blue tile only will take a landing platform. You also have a range of resources that once we have our little storage area, let's bring that down from Orbiton. Down we come. There we go. Modeling design is pretty incredible in this game, actually, which is very much pleases me. It's very, very nice. So you can see here that we've got storage. You can see we've got 120 matter. We've got some water. We've got some grain. We've got some fish. So on and so forth. So we're going to get a reward there. So there we go. So now we have to build a platform and build a couple of houses. So we've got houses here, residential complex houses. Um, now houses do get on these small squares, and then you get residential areas, and so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to plonk this here. So our three little drones will get to work. Shimmying over, there you go. Popping that in. Blah, 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 blah. So as you see here, you can see what it's at, the matter, and it costs a little bit to build. We can speed this up by hitting control. And then get over and back and forth. And once that up and running. Now this game does actually have some pretty impressive camera modes. Like if you hit tab, I mean look at that. That is nice. There's also, if you hit this one, it brings it into this sort of mode that some people might prefer, which I don't, but some people might. So now we have to build two houses. Uh, let's build a house here and a house here. That will give us two houses, which is great. So let's carry on. Let's get that going. There we go. And one's up. Two's up. Excellent. Right, so, uh, there we go. Collect our reward. So now we have to settle some Objective people, which requires you, down here you can see here the grey has got spaces for 28 people, wish to settle and work places. So you have to basically fill the columns of needs to increase the prestige of the city, right now we're at minus 9, so you have to fill these guys in order for them to then want people to settle. So currently the city is powered by batteries from the warehouse, but they're limited. Build a wind generator solar farm panels depending on the climate of the cliff, so you can click up here. Central cliff, you can see here, fish, uh, sunshine's a bit, we've got a lot of windiness here, so what I might do is, that would give us, that generates 8, right? What about if we click this, what's that going to generate? That's going to generate 32. You know what, we're going to go with that. Let's get that done. If we can keep the power up there, that would be excellent. So as you see here, we got this there, you can see the central cliff. You can see that when you power the supply, it seats 100% of the city needs free charge or what can be saved in the battery stations. If you have people, you do need to build a battery station, but you need to have some people to be down first of all. So water is one of the most important sources of the city, which is extracted by water extraction station. It can be used by human consumption and for growing food. The presence of groundwater depends on the characters of the cliff. So we can see here we have groundwater is about 80%, which is not bad, not bad at all. But we want to fix out our... Um, 
power situation just now, first of all. So let's just speed this up so these guys can get fling that over and done. Large there we go. Completed. And of course, that is actually giving us enough power. We're getting an overcharge there, which is even better. Now we have to work on the food grown on open source. So we, to settle people, we're going to need to get these fixed. So produced by water, it's trash and consumed by storage. So what we could do is we could place that cleans groundwater for domestic and industry use. So let's get that done. Now the only thing is, is nobody down. Now I found that this needs to be tweaked. I've seen some other videos where they've landed that down and needs to be full the whole time, which makes no sense. So, but with our one, it's not doing it. So we're gonna have to work with that and see what we can do. Cause obviously this building doesn't get activated with nobody there, which can be a bit of a pain, but we are producing enough power, which is great. Now what we want to do then is we want to try and work on getting a food. So growing food. Now growing food does require you to obviously do this, but when you do that, again, it needs people. So this is going to be a little bit of a problem. And I don't know if it's just my game or not, because I've seen other one, like I said, other videos where they've landed this and these have stayed filled until obviously they've got food in them. So I don't know what that's all about, or if you can demolish that, or if it's, it will do anything. But yeah, we, we're here, so let's see what we can do with this situation then. Notice that there, that is a water extraction, cleans ground. We've already got that there. Uh, can't place that there. We could place some you know, farms over here. So what do we got here? So that doesn't depend on soil fertility. What have we got? How is our soil? Doesn't tell us how our soil is, so we're gonna have to just try on error. And guys, get to work. Small construction completed. Now that has actually in fact filled that up, um, which is which that's not because obviously the water has been used, but the food is not being consumed. Let's see what we can do here. Small construction completed. Right, so one uh, item per type. Oh, there we go. It, it's actually working. Small construction completed. Small construction. It was working. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I don't know. Like, for some reason, it seems to, it works, and then it doesn't work, then it works, then it doesn't work. It's like, can you make up your mind? I mean, if you turn these off, you can turn them back on. doesn't really need to do anything. Again, guys, this is an early access, so things can and possibly will change. What we could do, though, is we could work on some fish, um, which would actually increase our prestige quite a bit, because we've obviously got a minus five there. So let's do that. Let's get that going just now. I believe we're probably going to need another one of these, though. Just to make sure our power... Because we've got the required... You know, we are getting enough power. But energy required eight... Construction completed. There we go. Now we'll get that done. Now we've got all this going, but again, we don't have that grown in open fields. Just wondering if there's a way to change that. Grows food products, water is required for functioning. And it doesn't really explain itself, it just says if you're in a critical shortage of food, people will leave the city if we don't have enough, but we do have, we've got loads of food, just nobody's using it. We've got some fish going in here, now they'll come across and they'll pick that up as they go along. I think we need another, let's get this here, and we can't really do anything with that right now. Small there we go. Construction completed. Right, so we're at minus five because of this. So what we need to look to doing is trying to fix that type of situation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a trade trading port. Now, the trading port is going to allow us to bring in materials or sell on materials. Now, the fish you can t just sell on. And we will look to doing some trading. Because basically I've found that if you trade food in, it tends to boost this up. And it can be enough to bring in people that you can eventually start your farms going. Let us see. I'm wondering if we should actually just place that there. Let's build a large open field. Let's put that down. That is nearly complete, which is great. We've got enough fish coming in back and forth. Now, this that tends to come in every few, every day, like in the morning for a few hours and so on and so forth. There we go. And... 
There we go. Huge construction completed. Okay, so what we can do is we can um, obviously get some f food coming in. We can then, uh, if we actually do that, see what this does for us. Trading platform arrived. See that? Does, it shoots that up. And I mean, we are 22, 23, oh, come on, come on, come on, and there we go. Citizens, Citizens are arriving. All right, get to work in the fields. Go, 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 go. All right. So that is at 32%, which is good, it's good. Uh, we do need a battery charging station. Let's put that... Probably could... Uh, we'll put it here. Right, that is, uh, yep, that is producing food, producing food. I mean, this is starting to go down, so we're at a minus five, but if these can produce enough, we'll get something um, on the way of that. I think what Small we should do is residential place. So what we will do is we'll upgrade that. And then that will generate power. Though we are getting quite a lot of power from this. Let's see. Yeah, we're getting an exceptionally because energy required 40. So we're producing that and batteries are covering the rest. So what we do want to do though is we want to get that fixed out. That it's not just getting generated by that. We actually got there. Yep. Okay. You know what? Build that. I mean, that is down slightly. Oh, you got settled people, right. So energy required. We can build this back up as soon as the power is up and running. Uh, they are 56%. As long as that doesn't go down. As long as that doesn't go down completely, we should be okay. This should generate enough that we can... There we go. Construction completed. There we go. Power supply, 100%. Energy required, 40. Weird. Excellent. Hello there. All right. Elise, come on. Produce the food. Is that actually generating water as well? It is. Excellent. Why are you not moving? I suppose we don't actually need that now. We can just sell on this stuff. Gonna get one of these actually. Gives a little bit of power. Oh, there we go. Food has been produced. So yeah, this went a lot better than the last time. I did do a fairly lengthy video and it well didn't turn out very well. Now what have we got in resources? Why we got about 15 of them. So what we want to try and do is build a recycling plant. Now that's gonna cost us five there. I wonder where we should put it. What about if we just kinda put it up here? Just tuck down out of the way. But yeah, we do actually have food being produced, which is superb. It means people are going to be wanting to come down and, you know, stay and everything. What I want to do, though, is I want to... Construction completed. There we go. Who goes and gets that? There we go. And now, what we do want to look to doing is getting some sort of form of... You know, we could get the hospital. But we do need to... Because we've got population 25, places 39... Alright, let's see. Why don't we go with one of these then? We're picking that up, taking it over, recycling it. I mean, that is producing there, which is superb. Trading platform arrived. Excellent. Anybody want to sell some stuff, please? No, you're just going to ignore it. <laughs> and I think we're actually producing, yeah, we're, we're not delivered, produced 35, which is excellent. So yeah, we do have a lot of food being produced. We just need to get this up and running and we can bring more people down because they will want to visit. Uh, nope. It's a little bit more. And um, we don't have any. Oh, no, no, we don't. Do not. Maybe. Nope. That is not getting any to make. Hmm. Is that charging? It's not charging anything, which is... Energy required 44, and we're producing... We are using battery power. Hmm. Now we do need to bring some of this in. Give me some of that. Oh. Pick up some food, I'm guessing. Maybe. There we go. Picking up the water. Good, good, good. 
I mean, we do have 41, no, that batteries. War 50, 50 with 27 undelivered. I'm assuming with the way the game works, it's undelivered, it means it's just kind of sitting around waiting to do something when... Well, we have this. This is nice to see. Nobody else is coming down, no. Manpower aesthetics. Uh, allows a one capsule... Allows receiving capsules from orbital. One capsule can hold 25 person. Or to use more residents. Free room is required. Uranium is needed to refill Trading the capsules. The there we go, guys. Get to it. Alright, that should be that. Good to go. Voila. Large construction completed. There we go. We have places New for many, many people. Arrived. Excellent. Now, what you could do is you could go for this. You could go for the generating power. Now, I think what we do is we'll go for the generating power because then we can get a nice wee charge going, which will give us some batteries. We got so you can actually see here, zoom right in. Nice wee people. Now, if I hold shift, you can actually do this. So, at night, you can actually see. I mean, look at this. You can see all the fish, the, the birds and everything. It's so cool. I love how you can see on that, you can actually see the, the water accumulating on the tower. So there's a lot of things, it's not just looking at it. I mean, you've got here, these occasionally move around, but it's pretty cool. Alright, so we got a population of 50. So that should mean, I mean, that's it working at 4. That's 4. New Let's alive. pop that there as well. And what we do want to do... Right, that's that done. Probably get the fish going as well on this side. Do we have enough for it? I don't think we do. How much fish have we got? 19. Let's just uh, sell more of this. What are you guys doing? Oh, well, yeah, they're filling that up. So we have a population of 75 now, which is superb. Uh, workplace is 47. Um, population. So we do actually have space for more workplace or more people to come down and work. Let's see. Hmm. I mean, that extracts matter for construction industry. Produces a wide range of household goods. Uses matter of raw materials. Extracts uranium from nuclear power plants. Harmful for ecological. What we could do is you can actually build this over here. You can build a nice big, you know, big bridge if you want to. Which we probably should do at some point. But we do have a nice stable income going on, which is superb. Uh, guys, take that from that, please. Or just ignore it. We have 50 food not delivered. Uh, can we actually build another one of these? Would that? Place for storing all raw materials and products. First storage in the city provides a start and set of resources and free cargo drones. How do you get more cargo drones in? Can you get more than three? Can you buy more cargo drones? Are they within a device or something? I mean, we have that all going there, so we could actually look to selling some of that. Well, we get the five of this in. But yeah, you can see here that it's got a little timer going around. That's basically producing the food as well as this is going around ticking up. How's our fish production going? It's doing no bad. It's doing no bad. So we got that all in there. We've got energy required 42. We're using batteries still. Slightly, but I think this is producing batteries during the day. That generates 15. So that actually generates a lot of power. Trading platform arrived. Hey guys, get to it. Go, 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 go. Sell the stuff. Or buy the stuff. There we go. And blow. Nope. Need one more. No, we need more. We need more, 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 more. Come on, do it. Medium construction completed. <laughs> do you think we have enough boats in here? Is there enough boats? I mean, look at that view, though. That is incredible. I'm definitely liking what I'm seeing from Cliff Empire. And obviously, you can start to set up these things to, you know, switch across. We need ferry to make that happen, though. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce this down because we're going to sell food for a while. Uh, because we are generating a lot of food, in fact. Um, how much... Does it tell you over here? No, it won't tell you how much you're actually generating. You need to kind of go through. So we'd like something that's an overall thing. 
to try and see what you're actually getting. Uh, we Ender's required 41. We are charged power of 5. I believe we, we've got some batteries, actually, which is great. So what we could do is, you know, you can actually set these up. Because, I mean, these don't require, like, they require, obviously, energy. I mean, these generate more, but these generate all the time. So it's kind of one of those things, do you want to go for charge or do you want to go for a constant power? Now, what I do want to do is I want to set up this. Allows to sell and buy 20 units of products in the city of the opposite cliff. Allows, also sends unemployed citizens in case there is room and jobs in the opposite side. I do want to show you guys one of them if it's at all possible. So let's see. I mean, we're not going to got population 75. We've got places of 94. So they're not going to be bringing good because it comes down in 25. So they're not going to be bringing down any more people right now. Got a nice charge. So we are getting a charge from this all. Which is great. I mean, that's going to start trading charging more because of all this. Right. There we go. Trading platform. Get the selling the everything. I mean, we've got the fish. The fish does sell for more. I mean, we're... Wow. Not delivered. There's just loads hanging about over there. I mean, this is already maxed out. We can't get rid of it all. We don't have anywhere to store it. I don't know how much this actually... I mean, what happens if I do this? Okay. What that? I wasn't the only one who noticed that shaking, did I? That costs five to make. We don't actually have any of that. It costs 27 to buy, you know, one. So what if we do that and then we actually increase the sale of that? Because we do have these churning away on the fish. We do have these, you know, with all the fish. We do have 137 of that, so what we're actually going to do is we're going to sell 20 of that as well. Because we have quite a lot. Unemployed benefits. Unemployment, unemployment benefits. Payment is deducted every cycle. Oh, okay. Um, we're If people are not working, they're going to be getting benefits, which we could, should... We do have the funds to be able to secure that, so we just need to work so we can actually get them something in the means of... Let's see, what could we go for? I mean, getting that would give them four workplaces. Um, decorate the area, that gives us more people. Hospital maintain, monitors and maintains citizens' health. Keeps records of city, city indicators, allows getting and repaying loans, Trains as well as send drones down. to other cities. Partially ensures order in the city. That gives us five there. Right, we've got the five, so we're going to be not wanting any of that now. Now that we have our five, just need to sell everything. See, I'm unsure if like this gives you more cargo, because obviously the first storage in the city provides a starting set of resources and free cargo drones. Unless you need to put... Unless you put one over here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Ah, okay. So we place that down there, Large that brings that down that one. So you can sort of go between them, so you, obviously that one's left, it, this is doing its own thing. This one could then work on building this, right from the get-go. Yeah. That's actually pretty cool. I mean this one, obviously the East Coast one, it does have a lot of sunshine. Uh, lo lots of groundwater, lots and lots of fish. So what I might do is actually build these guys up. And then we're going to put a battery over there as well. So you got that there. And I think there was another one over this way. Unless it's just, this is one big this cliff side. But they'll get to work on that. So then that will connect up to this possibly, I think. Large construction completed. There we go. Large construction completed. Woohoo! There's small construction oh. completed. Small. Objective small. Completed. That train can't go anywhere. Medium it cannot go anywhere. Completed. Cause this needs to be built on this side. Ah. That's a problem. That is definitely a problem. I mean, obviously we could you'll take out loans, but I think you have to take them out on the side it's on. Hmm. I mean, this needs food. That's for sure. Um, 
Let's see. Get that built. And get that built. And get that built. So they can get to work on that. That's building that. And then obviously come over here. So each cliff actually has its own interlinking society. And then you can connect them up to that. Which I should have possibly did that long ago. That was a lesson learned. Well, guys, I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to leave it there for Cliff Empire. This has been Smash Luke at it, so hopefully you've enjoyed this first impression, first impressions at it. And the Steam link is down below if you wish to go ahead and pick it up. And if you're liking what you're seeing at Smash Gaming, please be sure to subscribe for more. And I shall see you all next time.